Well, okay. First of all, I would like to thank uh, the Institute for Cultural Diplomacy and uh, his, its Director General, Mark Donfried. Uh, Donfried or Donfried? Donfried, as in German. Okay. For inviting me to participate in this panel and uh, together with sheer dear colleagues. And uh, I will focus my presentation mainly in the issue of uh, the works towards the uh, post-2015 development agenda. And I will organize this presentation in four general, very general chapters. Women's human rights in the international arena, Mexico's role at international and regional fora, consultations in Latin America and the Caribbean region, and how Mexico is incorporating international commitments in dom into domestic legislation. For the sake of time, I will concentrate on the most recent developments. Women's human rights in the international arena. As we know, gender inequality is the most pervasive form of inequality in the world. Thus, gender equality should be a cross-cutting priority that must be mainstreamed across any development agenda. I shall not it should not merely be isolated as a standalone goal, but its structural and root causes must be tackled. Promote gender equality and empower women is one of the Millennium Development Goals. The UN system, in collaboration with stakeholders around the world at, at regional, national, and local levels, has been working to assess the progress that has been made in achieving these goals and to determine the development priorities for the future. There is a recognition that important progress has been achieved, but there is still much to be done. That is why gender equality issues have been raised by national stakeholders as central to the global post-2015 development agenda and as an essential component for the realization of all development goals. Promoting equality, including social equality, gender equality, and women's empowerment, was one of the three key topics for the eighth session of the Open Working Group on Sustainable Development Goals, which met in February at UN headquarters to discuss the post-2015 development agenda. The two central ideas on gender were gender equality was affirmed as an end in itself and as an essential means for sustainable development and poverty eradication. And the second, there can be non-sustainable development without gender equality and the full participation of women and girls. During that session, concerns were voiced by many about the wide and in some respects widening inequalities in the world, both within and between countries, which pose a risk to social cohesion. It was discussed that inequality can be addressed through affordable access to quality education, social protection, health care, as well as productive and remunerative employment opportunities. It was also recalled that policies supportive of entrepreneurship and small-scale enterprises can also enhance opportunities for the poor, including poor women. Some areas of action identified at that meeting, which still need attention, are preventing and eliminating all forms of violence against women and girls, empowering women legally and economically, strengthening women's voice and participation in decision-making and leadership in all areas of life. As for Mexico's role in international and regional fora for the promotion of women's human rights, Mexico has been very active and has uh, collaborated with regional and international organizations, mainly the UN, in its pursuit for gender equality and mainstreaming, as well as for the fight against gender discrimination and violence. In 1975, Mexico hosted the first UN World Conference on Women. Every year, Mexico hosts the International Conference of Gender Statistics together with In Mujeres, that is the institute for, created for, for women, especially in Mexico, INEGI, that's it's our uh, statistics institute, UN Women, women and ECLAC, at the Conference of its Statistics of the Americas, which gathers together the national mechanisms for women's advance and the statistics institutes of the region. Mexico fully believes that incorporating gender perspective in the production and analysis of the measuring tools contributes to visualization of the women's needs in order to formulate specific policies and programs and to measure the impact of such measures in their lives. 
During the ninth international meeting on public policies, use of time e in economic care uh, in August 2011, for the first time, Mexico presented the results of an account on the non-remunerated labor in homes, which has been a constant feature in the history of the region. We are in Latin America really lagging behind uh, other parameters. In preparation for the 58th session of the Commission on Statutes of Women, which precisely is, is starting today in a couple of hours, Mexico hosted last October an expert group meeting on the structural and policy constraints in achieving the MDGs for women and girls, convened by UN Women and in collaboration with the Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean, ECLAC. The aim of the experts group meeting was to identify the challenges, uh, including the structural and policy constraints for achieving the MDGs for women and girls, identify the policy priorities and critical issues for achieving the MDGs for women and girls and for the post-2015 agenda, and develop action-oriented recommendations to accelerate achieving the MDGs for women and girls. The main recommendations after the work of this uh, uh, experts group we're strengthening the, enable, the enabling environment for achieving the MDGs. This, is, this has to do with uh, everyone recognizes that the, the, the role of the women is important, but the environment should be enabled so that this can really work. The need to embed sustainable development efforts within a human rights framework were another recommendation, so as the need of a multidimensional approach of, to sustainable development and multidimensional measurement of poverty has to be promoted and work to alleviate such poverty at the individual, household, and community levels is a key step towards substantive gender equality. These issues, among others, will be discussed during the CSW 25th uh, meeting. At the regional level, last January, the heads of states of, uh, and government of Latin America and the Caribbean gathered in Havana, Cuba, on the occasion of the second summit of the Community of Latin American and Caribbean States, CELAC. One of the outcomes in which Mexico actively participated was the special declaration on promotion of equality and empowerment of women in the new post-2015 development agenda. This declaration mainly ratifies that gender equality is a necessary condition for achievement of full enjoyment of human rights and agree that women should be included in governmental priority programs, providing not only national and international political and legal protection, but also concrete actions aimed at promoting and consolidating their integrated development recognizes that the focus of gender equality in the debate of development implies considering both the productive and reproductive dim dimension in transforming the division of labor, which due to inequalities in the reproductive field has generated a disproportionate burden for women, as well as a gender structural inequalities that perpetuate the circle of poverty, marginalization, and, equal and inequality. The declaration also agrees to intensify efforts to develop the fullest potential of women and girls against discrimination and commits to join efforts and continue co to combat all forms of violence, including feminicide and discrimination against women and girls, and to promote their rights by generating the necessary conditions for the development and strengthening space, both national and international, to enable them to enhance their capabilities and receive quality services and care in areas such as health, education, training, and also to the exercise and equal political participation, considering processes that facilitate the full exercise of, the, of their rights and the strengthening of their economic autonomy including the promotion of their integration in the different productive sectors. One of the most important things of the de declaration is the reiteration uh, of the interest in integrating the gender perspective as a, as a cross-cutting issue in the new post-2015 development agenda in order to empower women and achieve gender equality as essential elements for ensuring inclusive public policies. As for the Latin American and the Caribbean region consultations, last month, by invitation of Mexico's Ministry of Foreign Affairs and together with UN Women, 
ministers uh, and high level authorities responsible for public policies for human rights and empowerment of women and girls in Latin America and the Caribbean gathered and adopted also a declaration of mechanism of, for promotion of women of Latin America and the Caribbean prior to the 25th session of the Commission on the Status of Women. That is the so-called Mexico Declaration. And this, uh, the results of these, uh, these consultations precisely will be presented to the CSW meeting uh, in the coming days. The declaration highlights recommendations for including gender issues in the post-2015 development agenda through a stand-alone goal on gender equality, women's rights, and women's empowerment. The region's commitment to an engagement with these issues is reinforced in this declaration. First, it makes a strong call for a transformative and comprehensive specific standalone goal to ensure gender equality, women's rights, and women's empowerment in the post-2015 development framework with clear goals, targets, and indicators. It says this goal must address at least violence against women and girls, gender equality in resource distribution, and gender equality in decision making in the public and private sectors, as well as in the household. Second, the declaration makes a call to integrate gender mainstreaming throughout the post-2015 development agenda and sustainable development goals in all goals and indicators. It emphasizes that all new development goals, development goals must be transformative, tackle structural barriers to sustainable development, apply to all countries universally, and address equality through a rights-based approach. As a third recommendation, uh, that was the specific reference that was made to ensure sexual and reproductive health and rights, explicitly reaffirming the progressive and forward-looking agreements reached in the Montevideo Consensus on the of the first regional conference on population and development last year and the Cairo Program of Action. Participants also agreed that the new post-2015 uh, agenda and the SDGs must build on lessons learned by directly tackling both in unequal power relations between men and women and persistent social norms and gender stereotypes that impede sustainable development and discriminate against women and girls. As you can see, the, the consultations are, I mean, are trying to go forward, a step forward on what has been for so many years, the discussions on around the same issues. How Mexico incorporated internationally agreed commitments on gender into its internal legislation? Well, Mexico is, uh, I would say, a champion of being party of all international conventions and regional conventions. What is lacking a, a little bit is, is the implementation, as has been said uh, during the whole journey today. Uh, but Mexico recognizes that legislative harmonization is one of the main challenges for the human rights of women contained in international instruments in order to be reflected in the legal, legal framework of the country and thus become effective in all its territory. In this regard, Mexico has advanced in, in, in its commitments and has undertaken several actions to guarantee the right of women to a life free of violence and discrimination. One of the five goals of the present administration is an inclusive Mexico, to which the state will focus on ensuring the social rights and narrow the social inequality gaps that divide the society. An equal, cohesive, and substantially equitable society is the main goal of the present government. It also includes three mainstreaming strategies, democratizing productivity, modern government, and gender perspective in the public administration's programs. The development plan, the development plan 2013-2018 uh, of the government includes strategies for a more inclusive society. Moreover, mainstreaming strategies are being implemented to promote gender perspective in all the programs of the public administration. The purpose is to encourage a grassroots change that begins within the government institutions in order to prevent the continuation of roles and stereotypes towards inequality, exclusion, and discrimination, which have a negative impact in the successful outcome of, policy, of political policies. This way, the government of Mexico aims to materialize the commitments acquired when ratic ratifying the Convention on the Eradication of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women. 
Gender equality requires an enabling, enabling environment whose construction needs the review of legal framework, public policies, financial resources, and political commitments like the ones Mexico is currently undertaking. One important step was the creation in 2001 of the Mexican Institute of Women. In Mexico now, all the 32 federated states have a local leg legislation that guarantees access to a violence-free life for women and also have established systems to prevent, sanction, and eradicate violence against women. Regarding equality, 31 states have an act of equality between women and men, seven have published the regulation of the acts, and 17 have established systems for the equality between women and men. At the federal level, the Planning Act of 1983 was amended in order to include the gender perspective in the planning exercise by the public administration. Articles 2.3, 9, and 14 now oblige the government to plan public policies taking into account equal rights between women and men in order to ensure an enabling environment for the population's development. There are 24 states state laws to prevent, sanction, and eradicate crimes regarding human traffic. 28 states have incorporated the feminicide as a crime in their local codes, as well as the federal criminal code. Mexico has a population of 60 million women, and that is about 53% of the total population in my country. More than 1.7 million have benefited from programs to promote productive initiatives for more than 3,000 million pesos. That is about uh, 178 million uh, euros. About 20% of the federal budget this year is labeled to programs to fight gender equality. This is 218% more than it was in 2008. But we still have to do more. Only 17.6% of ministers in the current cabinet is, uh, are women. Just about 30% if both in both lower and upper chambers in the federal Congress are women. Though I must say that in the Supreme, uh, that recently approved political electoral reform states that all political parties have to ensure that 50% quota for any candidacies at local and federal level must be ensured. In the Supreme Court of Justice, we have just 18% women. After many years fi fighting against gender inequality, one can see that in Mexico, we have made big progress, mainly in education, participation in the economy, more national and international awareness with regard to the economic contribution of the non-remunerated work, more participation of women in candidacies, mainly because of quotas, and in approving legislation and programs against gender-related violence. But big challenges remain. We have to continue working in literacy campaigns, especially with indige indigenous population, in ensuring access to integral health services to fight against to the, the high rates of maternal mot mortality, in promoting new and more equal models of distribution of domestic and extra domestic work and in fighting poverty. A special attention must be paid to gender related violence, strengthening programs for prevention, attention and sanctions to the perpetrators and ensure reparation, especially for more vulnerable groups as indigenous women. Mexico believes that in, in order to achieve gender equality, it is necessary to have legal instruments as a basis for actions, such as the fight against discrimination, against gender-related violence, and the comprehensive promotion of human rights of women and girls, ensuring a violence-free life and contributing to the consolidation of democracy and justice as a collective welfare. So we look for equality, no more, no less, as it was stated in the consultation for Latin America and the Caribbean, and we follow the motto of this year's CSW meeting, equality for women is progress for all. Thank you. Thank you.